How dare you besmirch car racing highway driving simulator real parking driving driver sim speed traffic deluxe 2023. Maybe, maybe you, you could say that about maybe. Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Eating Gas Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux Eating News reviews, how to's, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with down there. That's Vin, because it says Vin down there, over there, but down there also. That's Jordan, because that's what it says there. Look at that. And uh, all the way over there, that's one Pedro Mateus. Together with you, you know it. Shad Realm Dynamic helping us form cocaine Ultron. Gentlemen, we had a very long pre show. Because yes. Yes. <laughs> it, it, it went some places. We, 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 we kind of got cover lost a lot, the then, right? Yeah. You know, ceramic <laughs> From knives. Washing Thai machines podcast. to knives. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese robots. Yeah. Like, it, it went some places. Robots. We were looking into what it cost to open a franchise, man. Come on. Uh, go back and listen to that. It's uh, available as pre pre super shows and then the uncut series. But we got a big show for you tonight. You're watching live after the fact. I. Because we brought it up last week, we were talking about making Linux Gamecast uh, like a retro version. So I freely admit I spent way too much time researching what it would take to get our show on a track. Okay. <laughs> Which, of course, like spiraled into, I wonder if we could do a show on VHS. Can, can we do one on Wax Cylinder? Uh, on, 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 on the Edison phone or whatever? That might be doable. Um it's probably long enough, yeah. It's an hour and a half show. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you <laughs> you go into it, I mean, this is something we were looking at in the pre pre super shows. No, gr- gramophone, like, that's what it was. Well, gramophone. we wanted to see if I, I want to see if I could get one on laserdisc. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, th- th- then it, then it became like, well, how how do you produce a laserdisc? Because none right. of us knew. Can so. you get recorded? Well, we learn stuff in weird ways. Uh, I talked about this on Wednesday. I installed Windows ten earlier this week. That was a that was a yeah. Windows ten. It takes a long time compared to Linux, doesn't it? You know what? If you don't give it internet, it's reasonable. I'm really going to say quick. like yeah. 30 minutes. <laughs> okay. That's still pretty long compared to like your average Debian Fedora install. Um, that's like five, 10 minutes. Both of you. Uh, what's your thought on this? It couldn't figure out the network adapter on a Dell 3010 out of the box. Hmm. How? That is the uh, most generic <laughs> Intel <laughs> My microkernels, man. And uh, you actually, with um, Windows 10 and laptops, it'll detect the Wi-Fi card uh, better than it does the built-in LAN one, that, mm. at least from my experience. Man, I, I had that, that, no... makes, that makes sense, though. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Like, I had no illusions that it was going to pick up the uh, fiber, fiber card. card. I'm like, no. I, I, like, I... I would do a live stream of trying to get that set up. It'd be entertaining, but yeah, didn't get that set up, but I did it to get a thing set up and I'm just windows 10. I don't understand is windows 11 better. Does did windows 11 bring back like the installed programs bar? No, no. <laughs> in fact, it did away with those even more <laughs> because Pedro, I run, cause I know Pedro, I've had this conversation with you. I'm like, you have to search for everything. You're like, yeah, you know the name. I installed a driver from 2013. Mm-hmm. No idea what it was called for the application <laughs> I needed. Mm. That's how you read the name of the setup file and then you just search for that. <laughs> it. You, you, mm, get this. Okay. So I finally go into like system configuration. I, I, we, I have not touched Windows in decades, but. So, it, uh, since, since you set up that touch tablet, right? I guess. Right? Yes. Yeah. There you go. Uh, and before that, it was Windows 8. And just an, it immediately just makes me mad. I was talking about on Wednesday's show uh, how it installed empathy because I was generally having to Google how to use Windows. Mm-hmm. I, I had questions like, how do I get to the drivers thing? Because I remembered like system. I wanted that thing from like Windows. Program, program files. Add, uh, device yeah. manager type thing. Oh, yeah, what, yeah. Right? Yeah. Device manager. And I get to the one and I, to its credit, it picked up the FireWire card. It didn't need drivers for that. It saw that. And I got to the audio thing and it just shows it. It's just like, here's the audio in your system thing. I'm like, what do I do? I just randomly decided <laughs> to click on it just out of desperation. And then the configuration utility was hidden behind that. Couldn't <laughs> yeah, be searched for. I went back and I searched for it. All of it. No, doesn't exist. Windows 10 oh. was oblivious of it. But I w- that deep, I was, plus a click, and you could open it. 
I, I was listening to a Castle Super Beast podcast. They were talking about this this phenomenon in Windows where like they don't get rid of everything, anything, but they hide it behind other stuff. Dude. So the so the mm-hmm. quest becomes how do you get to like and it looks like it was written for like Windows ninety five. How do you get to that screen in new Windows so you can actually do the thing you were previously able to do? It will try. It will uh, deliberately try to obfuscate that, and it even like the old uh, control panel. If you want to get to it. The first time you look for it in a fresh install, it will fight you and it will, you should use the new settings app. The new settings app is shit. Let me get to the control panel. Okay. No. <laughs> Gearspace. We, we don't, we don't uh, want people to who, computer. there were two posts that both ended with not on Gearspace and I'll go back and post the, uh, the, How the solution. Do yeah. Because you're, 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 you're going to be that guy. What did you see? Rando 982. I, I got to go back <laughs> because they were both in the same camp, but they were like windows users. Like, how do we get this working? It, windows 10 was new at the time, uh, but uh, yeah, f- fuck that operating system. Oh, tomorrow uh, I did a test run last Sunday. Arthur and showed up. Jill popped in for a minute. Arthur and hung around, kept me company. I was seeing uh, the viability of uh, being able to stream editing this very show how'd that go uh, pretty smooth pretty smooth uh very good <laughs> how, long, how long did it end up taking the, i guess the stream was so like, like maybe an hour and a half okay uh, just kind of running through the motions trying to get things to break it was it's interesting challenges is using davinci resolve was getting the ui readable for people at home but not so comically large as to where i couldn't use it Oh yeah, because you, you, you're 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 working on the 4K <laughs> screen and you gotta like right. Yeah, well, yeah. one thing I was doing last week was I was streaming in 4K 60. Mm. So you know how this was to uh, YouTube, I guess. Yeah, I did it to our YouTube channel and I put it up in our Discord for patrons to watch it live. And you know, instead of putting 6,500 in there for Twitch, I was putting 20 in there because that's your baseline for 4K 60, uh, 2160p. And you know, it was reasonably small. You know, 20 megabits up. But what I want to see this week is if I, what the quality hit's going to be if I downscale the UHD to 1080p for Twitch. Mm. So that's going to be tomorrow's experiment. Um, don't know when that's going to start. Probably a lot earlier because I have an idea of how to do it. But yeah, if you get a chance, uh, like and subscribe or whatever you do on Twitch to get notifications, it'll pop up. And we'll just try it out. We'll sit down because all the heavy lifting is already done. We're just going to be going through the audio and, you know, chopping it up, making an episode. Might be fun. Might learn something. It's not as cool as watching John Romero. I tried to watch that stream and for like 15 minutes, there was nothing happening. Just music in the background. He's just chilling out. Yeah, this is like, this is my dream, man. And by the way, if you don't know, John Romero just streams shit and making doom levels, apparently, which I learned uh, this week. Today so I learned been asking that he's doing when's, uh, that. Sigil 2 coming out. <laughs> yeah, he's just working on that, and he's like, God, he doesn't have a mic hooked up, but and like Dead Mouse, like works on his concerts in Unreal Engine four or five or whatever he's using currently. So I want to do so. You know, I'm inspired by that. I'm like, that's a good time for like people to show up. Like, hey, how do I do this? How do I do this? And you can just bounce ideas and stuff. Then you know, you get backseat editors, as Jordan was pointing out last week. If you're lucky, you're like, I, and you might learn something yourself. So yeah. <laughs> There's that. Ta-da. How about you, Jordan? Uh, have you uh, cleaned any washing machine um, filters? Yeah, I, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I removed a massive amount of hair. We talked about that in the pre pre super shows. And yeah, by by the way, if you are a, a young adult human and you recently got a, your own laundry machine, you got to clean out those filters once every 40 washes, according to the Samsung website. Uh <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's it's just been it's been pretty low key for me. Otherwise, you know, being Samsung, uh, a I'm surprised it doesn't have like an alert on it. B I'm also surprised it's not a proprietary uh, single use filter that you have to change out every yeah, four years. You know, you know what? I'm 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 glad I did for at least for my Samsung fridge. I found like a third party filter that works like just as well for the for like the water dispenser ice machine thing. Um, yeah, because otherwise it's like. It's like forty five dollars for a pack of three of those, or seventy dollars for the official Samsung one. <gasps> one, one, yeah. yeah so <laughs> fuck that shit. Um, yeah. Um, other other than that, speaking speaking of dead mice, I got a mouse problem. So I, I've been playing Mouse Executioner for the past couple weeks. That's that's been a, a thing. Yeah, like 
Did you just have a mouse in the house, or Se- uh, f- several mice? Are they like set- in the walls and shit? Yeah, yep. Setting setting up traps. We're getting like two, three of them a week, or three, two, three of them like a night. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> huh. How do you tackle yeah. that? Was this like traditional? <laughs> yeah, m- m- mouse traps. So yeah. I had, I had to, I had to. Uh, maybe I can't talk about that on Twitch. Okay. Mm, maybe, Probably maybe not. not. Probably not. Uh, <laughs> regardless, yeah, um, it's not fun. No, no. Turn, turns out, not a serial killer. I was gl- glad, glad to know that. <laughs> How about you, Pedro Mateus? Anything fun and exciting going on on the island this week? Uh, not particularly. Um, the, there's big shakeup of the NHS coming, so it remains to be seen what my job is going to be in a few months. But other than that, I um, I bought a very very cheap half of a Dell Latitude fifty four ninety five, just the bottom half, because I wanted a motherboard fifty four ninety five. Did you motherboard. post pictures of it in the Discord? I did not okay. because I'd already right. posted in the past. Uh, it's the same motherboard effectively, except this one actually works properly. Uh, the previous one that I had, if you started, if you did a cold boot, the touchpad, the Wi Fi, and the Ethernet would not work, but if you let the laptop on for a while, then turn it off, turn it back on, they would work, which suggests that there were traces that were cut somewhere, and with the heat, the two bits joined just enough that you could use Wi-Fi, Ethernet, the touchpad. So so you're saying it was like ripped apart and it kind of didn't work a little bit? A little bit, yeah. All right. (laughs) So I found that one for really, really cheap. It was like... 20 pounds with a very broken case. It looked like a car had run over it. Um, so yeah, no eBay. <laughs> Pretty cool. How about the horse? Do you think we can get some black Lotus cards for it covered in? <laughs> no, the best, the best I can do is a $5 <laughs> Shiv and dragon. No, listen, listen, the horse is the most powerful magic card. You just got to tap two swamps and then it's the steam. Oh, Trample, tackle, haste. Beta time. That. Yeah, that's right, man. <laughs> January of the 11th, we had a Steam beta client update, and it fixed. You know, for me, I don't know if either of you ran into this issue. Like, right when Steam started, it was pissing and moaning about some GL render type stuff. It looked like just a moon glyph before everything rendered in the client. That's gone. That's been fixed. Happy to see that. And they also changed. This made me really happy. You can now change the download regions. Without having to restart Steam, everyone. Yay! <laughs> why, why did they need to do that in the first place again? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, Jordan, maybe you can play with this. I, that is so helpful when you're trying to play Find the Mirror That Sucks the Less. Yes. On the East Coast servers. And like you work your way back. I, I don't know if you go through Canada or if you go through the States. I usually stay in the States and like start working my way to the West if, Coast. If, if, I... if, if it's like, uh, if it's like Northern US, I usually, I'll, I'll check there. If, if it, yeah. Usually, usually just like Northern East Coast US. They usually end up in like Texas or someplace. Like, yeah. the, and you know what I'm talking about when you're sitting there and you're like, I'm getting three megabits down. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. <laughs> well, what about Florida? Like, no, this, we're not downloading stuff from florida we're above wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 do you, what do you take me for some kind of hick downloading stuff I'll, from florida I'll, I'll try tennessee then maybe alabama and like you alabama oh alabama. boy well you assume that nobody else is <laughs> ah, I, guess, I guess i guess that's true i mean wouldn't it be like downloading from like i don't know middle of canada i'm i'm, I'm sure i'm sure there's like uh, an army of beavers that are busy playing team fortress too <laughs> Oh, there could be. Oh, we'll get be. to that. But yeah, no, they they didn't have the one Linux fix, which was the uh, fixing the errors about the library not rendering properly. And I wonder if that's what caused a very severe bug that they then had to fix with the January twelfth one. Basically, Oops. what it was doing is it was spawning tons of X or X Whalen, depending on which one you were using, uh, clients. Uh, with no actual visible windows, just tons and tons, hundreds of clients just connected to the X server until you could no longer start any more X applications. Really? <laughs> because I, I just done the update to Nobara 37 and I thought, oh, Eggy probably screwed something up. No, it was Steam. 
Pedro, you do what I do. And you immediately throw DaVinci Resolve under the bus when that was happening. <laughs> and I couldn't get Thunar to open. I'm like, what the hot hell is this? Like, you don't like, you ever run into these situations, right? I couldn't open a terminal. Yeah, no, no terminal, uh, no uh, only office. I had all the work Chrome windows open and Steam was running in the background. And it's like, I can't even open the office application. What the hell? <laughs> It's been fixed, and I guess I had closed Steam and it started working again, but I just assumed it was different. It's a fi- first thing that goes under the bus when, like, um, you know, XFC is usually just stable, rock stable, to work, but then I saw Pedro post it in the show notes. I'm like, oh, all right, fine. Damn it, Valve. Yeah. <laughs> what about... Damn, um, damn it, Gog. Gog, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, well, you know, in, in, in this age of disconnectedness, we must, we must be more connected. That was the thesis of Death Stranding. And Gog took that message and said, fuck that shit. Uh, no, no more free games for you. So, yeah, uh, you might remember we talked about it a while ago. Uh, we've talked about it a few times, actually. Gog Connect, where you can link your Steam and your Gog account, and you can get um, DRM-free copies of games you already purchased on Steam via GOG. And, you know, that was, it was pretty great. It's like, hey, you know, um, I don't have to buy this game again on another platform. I have a DRM-free copy now. It's been pretty good. Um, honestly, most of the games I own on GOG are from Connect, aside from, like, my copy of The Witcher, which came with my 980, and maybe some free games and, like, a copy of Neverwinter Nights I bought in college. Um, but really, it didn't, it didn't really help GOG in terms of, uh, in terms of, like, boosting sales. What it really did is just put them, put your uh, email account on your mailing list because you're just like, oh, well, I don't have any games on GOG. I can sign up for a GOG account, get DRM free copies of blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, start getting promotional emails about the deals on GOG. Maybe leech a couple of customers away from Steam. And, you know, may- maybe maybe that did work, but I think that uh, that money spigot has dried up. And so uh, having, having not been updated for a while, GOG is like, yeah, no, no, no more connect for you. Bye-bye. Wah, wah. To be fair, I, uh, much like Ven, uh, <laughs> forgot that that was a thing. Right. Uh, That's a thing, isn't it? Yeah. Huh. It's like, what, what, oh, yeah, whatever. Connect. Did you two, <laughs> did both of you, like, for the first time, like, go peek over? I'm like, oh, it's always in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. I have 112 games. Huh. Yeah. Uh, I apparently I have 160 something. And much like Jordan, uh, most of them were from, uh, Got Connect. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, I guess, you know, offering the free DRM free version. It's like, why would you offer that? Especially for someone who owns games for the competition, just have them buy it. You're a store. Now, Dylan, (laughs) I got to say, uh, this is a hundred percent. One of those cases where it's absolutely better to have loved and lost. Cause somebody read this today and just went mother. (laughs) I could have had that sync that been like no fault of your own. Um, cause like Pedro and like Jordan, did you even remember it existed? Oh, actually, yes. Periodically, I would think. You know, I wonder if they're ever going to do another Gog sync. Uh, yeah. Just, 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 just because, like, you know, it's not. No, no one. I don't think anyone genuinely believes that. Like, oh, Steam is draconian DRM. They're going to take all your games away. But it's always nice to like have have a backup of that library somewhere, like, and not mm. have to repur- repurchase all those games. Um, I, I, I would, I would like a system in general where like you could have cross purchase or cross account purchases carry over. Where like. You know, you bought God of War on PlayStation. That gives you the Steam key. They're never gonna fucking do that. That is no. like a hippy dippy pipe dream. But you know, I- ideally, in 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 the perfect world, in 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 our fully automated Star Trek luxury uh luxury future, we 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 would have that, but we don't. So computer beep boop. <laughs> ho- ho- holodeck, <laughs> one sex, please. All right, uh, Pedro, talking about sex. Um... <laughs> yeah, this is what you play if you're not having sex for a while and uh, you just want something to make you feel better about yourself. Team Fortress 2. Uh, I'm being a little what? bit mean. Because <laughs> you look at the state of Team themselves. Fortress 2. You look at the state of Team Fortress 2 and you go, yeah, I'm not doing too bad. Uh, okay, okay. But- I, I, I was going to say, who, who plays Team Fortress 2 to feel good, right? <laughs> but- like I said, to feel better about yourself. Uh, comparatively speaking, but yeah, no, there was a pretty significant leak, 61 gigs of, uh, team fortress two, including source code and uh, a bunch of assets. Um, it's uh, like unused assets as well. Uh, weapons, maps, bunch of stuff. And it, it's, it's on the internet now it's available. And valve did say when, uh, the community got together to get valve to notice that yes, TF two is a, sh- 
shit show right now. So you should do something. And Valve said, okay, we're just going to hand over the reins. Do the, the, um, I don't remember the name of the game, the aliens versus humans, basically oh, proprietary and vanquish. Yeah, that one. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, just do that and that hand was... over the reins to the community. So this will probably help a lot going forward. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I mean, 60 gigabytes of unused maps, models, max, and apparently witches, like with witch hats on. I'm like, oh, that's pretty neat. I, did you uh, watch um, the Valve, you know, the Valve News Network guy? I don't remember his name. Uh, he went through it and he's like, I didn't see anything terribly amazing in it. But then again, I don't know a whole lot about Team Fortress 2, other than I played it a couple times, and I'm like, yeah, I remember playing that when it was called Quake World. I, I mean, like, I, I guess more, more, more content is 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 better for TF2 because, uh, like, the 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 modders are going to reintroduce this content into TF2 whether Valve wants to or not. And the, the, the article from uh, GenX.TV, the links to all this in our show notes, uh, alluded to it as such. So yeah, I mean, it it I it's uh, it's not the first TF2 leak, but I think this is probably going to be pro- one of the last ones. Mm. this is just like a last uh yeah the w- whatever they had this no. is it oh man <laughs> what, we're not gonna get team fortress alex <laughs> no we're, 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 we're gonna we're gonna get uh we're gonna get team fortress job simulator for, as for it turns out half-life 3 already released and it was called half-life alex and it's <gasps> a vr exclusive <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we that's, 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 that's one way to transition to a new segment. Let's talk about Juan Sin Miendo. <laughs> so <laughs> clever. Uh, this, this is a Spanish game uh, done by a single dude. Uh, one man, Dio de los Muertos, adventure platformer. Uh, according to the reviews, it's hard. It looks like very, very smooth. Like not, not, not in terms of like smooth frame rate, but like smooth pixels. Not 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 as crusty, Smooth I guess. As pixels, like, man, that's my stage name. Who told you? I, uh, listen, listen. I, I'm I, just I looking you. at the Indiana Juan. There, it's like, shut oh, okay. up, man. This is <laughs> Castlevania in the Last Crusade. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, it, 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 it is it is basically like Castlevania on on a budget, made by one dude. It looks okay according to the reviews. It's pretty fucking hard though. So well, I mean, so uh, accurate. You, All right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like that's one thing you don't get away with. Uh, being like, oh, it's too hard. I'm like, accurate? You mean? Yeah. I mm-hmm. mean, it's four by three. It looks the part, especially if it's one person. As long as it controls half, half one more, just half of one. You man. hit the button and the dude jumps. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like if you just get that basic mechanic down, uh, absolutely priced to sell. Normally four ninety nine. It's currently three seventy four. What do we need to run this bad boy? This graphical jug twelve point oh or newer. Ubun- Ubuntu good. twelve. Just the twelfth Ubuntu. Mm. All right. <laughs> All right, I think we can manage this. Five hundred twelve megs of RAM. You know what? You know what? I I think maybe we'll set up a Patreon goal to uh, do a um, minimum system requirement series. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> and actually install like yeah, pretty old versions hop, of hop well, on, I, 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 wow, I mean, Hop on eBay, buy some old ass hardware with like five hundred. Pedro can already do this by himself, though. He has all the computers to do it. Yeah, but he'll never do it. Yeah, problem yeah. is time. <laughs> Availability. That, that, that's, that's why you gotta go to his house and just move in with him and make him do it. <laughs> yeah, do my job for me and I'll do all the rest of the stuff that I yeah, wanna I, do. You know what? You know what? I will do your job for you, Pedro. <laughs> See, Pedro, the life hack is don't sleep. Yeah. Do you know how many oh, hours? Yeah. Sleep, a day sleep is for the week. week. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah, six hours a day that I spend. Six hours. So. No, 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 how, no. How Two much? and a half, three max. <laughs> How much time in a day do you waste just breathing? If you just stop breathing, how About much like 24 hours a day that I'm breathing? Well, yeah. No, no, no. Cause you, you breathe in, you absorb the oxygen and then you breathe out. Right. Like what, what if you just skip that part? See, what Pedro, you, Pedro you, you cannot conceive this motherfucker takes off lunch, man. <laughs> when it comes to breathing, just like, uh, an hour of not breathing. Out, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, here I am using my own lungs like a sucker. Come on. Let's tell everyone about the new racing sensation that is ah, yes. probably in contention for the longest Steam URL. A- Amazon product listing the game? Yeah, uh, Amazon eBay product listing, because uh, allow me to read. Uh, car racing highway driving simulator, comma, real parking driver sim, speed traffic deluxe 2023. Aha, exactly what I was looking for. See, if it wasn't for that comma, man, I would have thought you were being a little shifty. <laughs> That's uh, that's impressive, and if you've seen like the cheap um, ish 
uh, racing games that show up on Steam every now and then. This one looks very much like that. But the driving, uh, the driving physics, those are actually done differently. Oh, okay. uh, the trailer had some uh, dodging and weaving of traffic. That reminds me so much of like the early levels of uh, Need for Speed Portion Leashed. The way that the car sways and the camera doesn't really know what to do. That 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 era V rally type I, of situation. I, 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 hold, hold up, the game description. <laughs> that, that that just like I I just had a moment here. Be the fastest driver on the highway by overtaking the traffic. How do you like? That's self-explanatory, right? That's that's a bit of a tautology. It, you know, it, yeah. Be be the fastest <laughs> driver by being this by like stopping your vehicle on the on the highway. Like <laughs> no, 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 no. See, this is one word, Jordan. Tra- um, traffic. Oh, cl- sorry, traffic. Over, cause oh. <laughs> yeah, because it's got the over. exclamation point. No, 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 because the exclamation point is the click. You Take your car it. to the service and upgrade it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, lo- lo- most mostly positive reviews. Let's scroll down to the res- reviews for a second because they're a little, they're a little sus. Oh, <laughs> no controller support. <laughs> the driving feels great and the graphics are good. The list of that's a Linux cars. review right there. No controller support on Linux. <laughs> scroll, scroll, scroll down. The game in all aspects is great for those like me who are lovers of audio. I love this game. Well, one product in account. Yes. Yeah, so, so y- Yanagi and Yanagi, two two A's and two G's. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look! Somebody had a stroke while they were trying no. to finish it. Yeah, so right, no. uh, that's unfortunate. This was fun. It catches on the longer you played. Soda venereal diseases, son. Um, <laughs> oh, look! One product in account. One review. Mm, yeah how, how dare you you guys are just constantly full of negative like you <laughs> would think somebody would try to game how, how, how dare you besmirch car racing highway driving simulator real parking driving driver sim speed traffic deluxe 2023 maybe, maybe you, you could say that about maybe car racing highway driver simulator <laughs> real parking driver sim speed traffic deluxe 2022 but not 2023 oh so we're, we're no longer pronun- pronunciating the comma Come out, sorry. <laughs> We're just ignoring that now. Okay. Ca- ca- listen, commas are for squares. Just ask Pedro. Uh, comma, comma. Hi, I'm Captain Combo Splicer here. Kendri- Kendria. Kendria. Oh, At the end of the day, this, uh, oh, man, this bad land. thing is written in Lisp, like a real game, like a real developer. Um, please have good combat. Please have good combat because. <laughs> I just want good combat and movement with this. I mean, this definitely takes after Celeste a little bit, oh, yeah. which really has my intention because Celeste is my kind of game. And, uh, you know, at the price, at the price, well, explore a ruined open world uh, cavern settlement, hack and slash, which is good, you know, so patrol, repair, scavenge, all the fun stuff. It's 2D, hipster pixel art. It looks like it's done right. 27 positive reviews. First thing that's going to strike you, it cost uh, regularly nineteen ninety nine, which puts it at uh, precisely one point two seven Hollow Knights. So it better fucking be good. Um, <laughs> what do we think about? Oh, it's got some uh, DLC soundtrack. I I like the look of it. I like the yeah. look of it, and I posted a thing. It'll be in the show notes. A uh, development blog for this. And I'm like, right on. Yeah. Yeah, we actually we actually talked about that back in episode 517. Yeah, the this now they actually have uh, released the game on Steam, which you know love love to see more open source games. I don't think um, I might not be open source, but at least um, more more indie games on Steam like this, um, and especially done in Lisp. It's not something that you see a lot of, and the blog post has been alluded to uh, gives you a pretty detailed breakdown on how to make a game in Lisp. And if you can make totally not Celeste work in Lisp, and clearly they have because 27, uh, 96% of the 27 reviews on Steam are positive, so it's clearly doing something, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Real-time yeah, lighting and shadows, man. I mean, this, this is just RTX cool, on, baby. Right? <laughs> it covers asset integration, all the tooling, editing systems, map making, and, you know, just everything you would expect what do we need to um run this bad boy uh emacs linux 313 <laughs> yeah oh that's a kernel let's see that's oh, 2017 oh, oh. oh open gl 3.3 yeah uh i, I mean, can run it yeah, on r600 then all right okay <laughs> there might actually be some legs into this uh system show mm-hmm. system requirements the show yeah it'd be pretty cheap to make 
Uh, yep. Maybe we'll try it out. Maybe we'll try it out. Okay. Um, speaking of open source, though. Yeah, Dino Run. So uh, apparently, uh, the uh, di- apparently X Gen Studios was hosting the multiplayer servers for Dino Run for years for basically free as charity. Uh, they have sunset those servers, and so Dino Run DX multiplayer no longer works. Mm-hmm. Um, very very sad. Um, if you get into their Discord channel to download the source code. They are looking for volunteers to uh, help keep it on life support. So if you are a Dino Run fan who knows how to program in action script, you might want to give it a look. It looks what it's it's a uh, speedrunners, right? It's D- um, dinosaur speedrunners. Sure? Question mark. <laughs> well, multiplayer Dino Run, yeah, sure. <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, much like when uh, I saw the uh, the link, if you want to grab the source code, go to Discord. It's like, okay, using Flash Player 4.7. Ah, Flash game. Mm, no. This got me going down like a pretty interesting <laughs> rabbit hole because I used to do Flash development um, like right up until Flash 4 came out. And that's when we really saw the introduction of usable action script. I'm like, fuck, I wonder how much. And then I moved over to Mac Media Directo- Director and started using Lingo. But I was like, is there any Linux based tools for like working with Flash assets? Like, I might possibly be able to help with it, but there wasn't. I found some project from 17 years ago on SourceForge. Mm. <laughs> how, how many ads did it have embedded in it this time? Oh, 17 years. Man. Uh, no, to their credit, to their credit, uh, yeah, here's a pro tip. Nobody wants to join your fucking, and not, not this, like, this would apply to us as well. No one wants to join your busted ass Discord to get a link to download something. All right. Like, especially when it's source. To their credit, it's on GitHub now. They put up a GitHub. Hey. (laughs) So, if you need that Dino Run DX goodness, yeah, somebody wants to play around with this. Yeah. um, Action script and angel script. Yep. That's all Flash Baby. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Uh,. Go peeking through it. I, I don't really think you're going to be doing this with like canvas or anything like that. But I mean, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, if you, if you can get it like ported over to like HTML5 or whatever, like th- 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 there, is, there is infrastructure to do that. So, I mean, the assets for what they yeah. are going to be there and like oh, everything you would need. It depends on what the server set even looks like on something. Right. Like this, right? Yeah. yeah. It, it, <laughs> you, it may be one of these things where it's like, oh, well, we basically just have to rip this entire thing out and write it from whole cloth. Because even back then uh, with Flash 4, like you used a system called Flash Generator for your server side stuff and that was effectively a flat text file so i i don't know i'd i'd look around it but i don't even have the tools to look around in it so Mm -hmm. there you go links in show notes yeah yes well (laughs) coming up next we got open source nvidia playing the talos principle yay get get it get excited around that benchmark again It's one of those traditional uh, LGC news segments. It's going to start off talking about some driver stuff, but before we get to that, we need to stop and, uh, well, basically shell ourselves out to you. And who better to do that than uh, our resident cockhead, Jordan Svang. Bok, bok. Bok, bok, bok. <laughs> I can't fucking breathe. <laughs> ah, the more you, you know, take it wanna... off, it's never going to be it... effective if you keep doing that. <laughs> right, right, you know... <laughs> But oh hey, it landed in the good spot. I don't I don't have to go and rescue that. Get that uh, hey, cock back on your face. If you want to see more cocks on our face, head on over to patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast, onlyfans.com slash Linux Gamecast. Sub to us, you get some cool stuff. Uh you get to see our hot cocks. No, you just get to see the, our our uh, our Discord channel, uh, which you can also get to us to by uh, subbing to us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Linux Gamecast. Um, yeah, but get in, get into our discord. Uh, you can talk to us the other six days of the week. We're always in there chatting, being a bunch of, being a bunch of, uh, Come up in our discord so you can download a bunch of source fucking code. idiots. Right. Yep. <laughs> well, listen, we, we won't even make you download any source code. You just got to get into our discord channel. If you mm-hmm. want to play video games with us, you can by getting into our discord as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ven does track media on Tuesdays and Fridays. I do borderlands on I Thursdays. I do track media on a private server that you get to go Ooh. hang out on. Yep, I I don't have a private server. I I just play on the public servers for Borderlands. It's a private game though. You got to be my friend on Steam, and I will only be your friend on Steam if you join our Discord. But Jordan, I, you, that's an awesome then, because I got a level sixty-seven that I'm gonna show up with. Yeah, ex- yes. exactly. You, you got to <laughs> show up. I'm with just gonna baby. start showering with you with the uh, overpowered guns. <laughs> oh, Patrick, I didn't realize you were here. 
Um, <laughs> I've had to yell at him like three or four times about that. And every time he thinks that my answer is going to change, but it doesn't. It's I'm, I'm calling you out on this, Patrick. It's not going to change ever. <laughs> we got a store. Store.skincast.com. Buy our merch. Merchandise. <laughs> Merchandise. Motherfucker. What, oh, did you see the um, history trip? of the world? Yeah. Part? Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, I, I, I saw an ice skate ring. For a second yeah. in the background, so you know I, what I, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. Yes. It, 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 it can go. It could go either way. We, it could go did, if, if Mel Brooks is going to deliver that to me, I'll for, I'll, I will allow space balls being used in space. You know, like I, I, my 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 theory my theory for that though is they're saving that right to the very end. Like they're they're going to make make us wait for oh. for, G, for Hitler on ice. Um. <laughs> any any anyways, uh, we got we got a store store Buy some merch. We got wish zones as well. If you head on over to Linux Gamecast. Dot com. Put your mouse over the support button. Ven has a support or as a wish list. I have one. Pedro has one. Jill has one. You can buy us stuff like a Pedro air wants an air fryer with 100 <laughs> recipes cookbook. Uh, you yeah, know what? you can blame uh, the people on Discord for that last week. <laughs> That's why that's there. So here's I, the reality I, of it. If you purchase this, you get to pick three recipes. That Pedro has to cook. That Pedro has to cook and provide evidence of. Far um, enough, yeah. <laughs> Jordan needs a $400, 5900 because he wants to live that 12-core lifestyle, baby. 24 threads of unlocked uh, XFS. Oh, man. Jesus, things are not even viable. Uh, yeah, 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 bucks. yeah I, I, I have that on there so I can look at it and cry. Oh, please. Let me, <laughs> let me show you cry, baby. You, you go over to the studio wish list and you scroll down to the bottom <laughs> and you find the MSI. Water cool 4090. So I, I can bloat my PSU. I can leak in the case and fucking start a fire with that bullshit connector. Um, do, no. do, do you have, do you have the uh, new power supply on there as well? If you're going to have that. That would take all the fun out of it. No one. And that wouldn't be very easy. <laughs> right, right. wide power supply. Yeah, yeah. No, just get, just get an adapter to just plug your ATX, your regular ATX power supply to, into this. It'll be fine. It's, Don't it's worry about it. It's not even a joke. It's, it's, a, it's 98% a gag gift, but goddamn, wouldn't that make you nervous having that in your box? You're like. Right. Yeah. Just a little bit. Um, yeah. We got we got some people we got to thank. Um, you know, en en enabling me to show my my cock to the lovely people. I got to thank a romantic dev. He got this to, for me off of uh, my wish zone. Uh, you can send us and you can actually send us a note. Um, I have it somewhere, but it's just the default. Like, enjoy your gift note. A romantic dev didn't really Here, we'll pretend uh, you're reading it. Yeah, a, a romantic dev didn't give us a custom message, but you can, and we have to read it within reason. So if you it's want, a horrible idea. So you you can, you can buy Pedro a chicken mask and make him say that GNOME is the most usable desktop environment in the history of computers. Yes, yeah. you could absolutely do that if I had a chicken mask on my wish list. We thank you for your support. He doesn't because he's a coward. Uh, if you are backing us on Patreon, like I said, hop in our Discord. You get, if you like this show, if this is a little bit you listen to, it, it's like it's an hour long. Like, I need another, I don't know, three hours of this nonsense each week. We make that available in the Live and Uncut series. We also have a pre pre super shows in, in podcast format. And I got a couple of things rolling out you might have noticed earlier this week. I posted, you know, a nice up res version, not up res, but like cleaned up version of the live stream from building the rectangle, Steam Rectangle Build, a micro ETX system, installing Steam setting up Proton, you know, even Debian, hard mode, right? And getting all that together with a little bit of jack audio. That was fun to do. And um, come tune in on Sundays if you're listening to this like live right now. I'll be popping up. I'm trying to teach you kids how to do some, you know, multimedia editing and production under Linux because I've heard it can't be done. Star wipes, just all, all the star wipes. I was, you know what? I was too busy juggling to, because I caught that later that afternoon. I'm like, God damn it. Which, you know where there's going to be some star wipes tomorrow, kids? Yeah, right here. <laughs> right around 3922, other than you're welcome. <laughs> LGC cares. All right. Let's uh, get into some non starry graphical wipes, though. Oh, yeah. No, this one, uh, it may not look all that impressive, but when you consider that. Someone actually got Vulkan working on Nuvo, effectively creating an entirely new driver, kind of like Red V for AMD, but NVK in this case for NVIDIA and got the Talos principle running on it. And um, Carol Herbst uh, on the Mastodons was like, hey, uh, here's some Talos, five magnificent frames per second at uh, what was the resolution? 1024 by 576. Ballin. Yeah. <laughs> here, 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 here's the thing, though. The nice thing about having such low performance is that it's really easy to double your performance. We, oh, yeah. We, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like I, I, I look forward to seeing Talos' performance on NVK double. 
It'll be 10. Yeah, the, <laughs> that was on a 1650, so a fairly re- recent-ish video card. But that gives me There's hope. There's going to be support someone... for Maxwell? Huh. Yeah. Uh, basically, everything that has the GSP, the uh, RISC-V GPU system processor, um, would, in effect, be supported by this, though they will have to actually get some performance going. Uh, I'm just sitting here looking at my uh, E PC netbook with the NVIDIA Ion going. Fucking let it go, mate. Come on, man. It came out in 2008. Please support it. <laughs> like, I'm looking at this and like, I can get my antique collector's 980 up and running. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. maybe you, you pull it up on your fixie with your Ion chips. <laughs> <laughs> like, th- th- this this ki- this kind of shit is important though because like if you're on if you're on Nvidia then your cards are on a ticking clock uh, until mm-hmm. you basically lose driver support. Uh, I'm I'm on what Maxwell right now and mm-hmm. or uh, Pascal rather Pascal. Pascal. and yeah and like every, every every time there's a there's a new Nvidia driver update it's like oh yeah and we're moving these guys to the legacy branch have fun we, so, you're getting that tick now here's what thing yeah. too what I want to say it's not just a I I don't need to say, I want power profiles on these things too man like that is the one reason like even you know older uh, quadros and stuff like that that i've definitely run in our uh, audio server our daw in the studio i don't like running them because there's no uh, power management it is just full on full time so i definitely yeah. like to see some of that and thank you nvidia for pulling you know the reverse rectal uh head up cranial rectal video, inversion version yeah thank you <laughs> Yeah. Golf clap. That's all you get. Uh, Google. <laughs> Speaking of small upstarts, uh, they tried to do a thing back in like 2019. Might have been 2018. I'd have to go find my video. Pro- Project Stream was 2018, right? Um, I know Strider. When were we playing that? Me and Strider were playing uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey uh, in the beta before it went even and closed. I mean, it was in like 2019, somewhere in there. Might have been 2018. Anyway, it grew up and became Stadia, and Google remembered it existed, so they canceled it. They closed it, because it's Google. They're going to do that to anything that they have. You all eventually learned that lesson. Now, one of the byproducts of this was the Stadia controller. You know, nobody ever came out and said, man, this controller is great, it's awesome, it does a bunch of cool things. I was interested in the Stadia controller because the Stadia controller by itself was self-contained. You know, you just showed up. All you had to do was bring a TV. Boom, you get everything there. and and well, Chromecast. Yeah. Well, Chromecast. I mean, come on. Who doesn't have a Chromecast? It's you gotta un, just unplug it from your ion chipset laptop. I, I, listen, I I have I have a fire stick. I, I've bought into the Amazon ecosystem. So. I have a you, Roku. See, this is the thing though. Like I think I have a fire stick too, but it's like first fire first stick. Gen. Yeah. You can, do, you can do like 720p 30. Mayhaps. I don't know. Good day. Right. Um <laughs> I only bought it to, just to hack on it. Uh, so anyway, we got these controllers. They're sitting around, and a lot of people, myself included, have been sitting back going, uh, it, it would be awesome if these controllers did, didn't end up in landfill because Google didn't unlock them and allow them to be used as, oh, I don't know, controllers. Well, good news, everybody. Google has decided to unlock the Bluetooth support on Stadia controllers as the platform <laughs> dies. Also, just in true Google fashion, the last week of Stadia, there's gonna, they're going to release one game that you get to play for like three days. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, it's you know, Half, Half-Life 3 Stadia exclusive. <laughs> oh, dude. The actual first first party uh, title is going to be released <laughs> just so, before so, it shuts down. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I was a little unclear on this because I thought like, oh, well, you need to connect this controller to something. But I guess if it interfaces with the Chromecast, then it uses like the like the network discovery shit. Um, but I thought like maybe you could like pair it to a phone or pair it to like a computer if you were like going to play Stadia in, uh, in in a browser. But until I guess they push us up. Not that wasn't yeah, the case. Yeah. You, uh, you could play it on enough. the computer if you plugged it in. Yes. Ah, see, yes. okay. Because it, it makes it doesn't make a lot of sense to release the controller that you can't use with a computer. Like, hang e- on e- here. E- let even- me see if I let me see if I can help you out. <laughs> I'm knocking on the door, Jordan. Well, who's, who's who's there? Who is it? Google. You said something about not making a lot of sense. Ah, yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Konnichiwa. <laughs> Fair, fair enough. I, I I don't know. Like to to me at least, it seems like in having this conversation, someone would be like, 
Don't you think someone would want like connect it to their phone or some? Oh, some we other do, shit? but we'd much rather have you pay us a monthly fee in order to use right? this. <laughs> uh, well, you, you know, it's 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 certainly better than nothing. Mm. And I mean, that, that that's it's it's the magic and the bullshit of software defined radio. They could have always done this. It could have always had Bluetooth support. Yeah, they just needed um, to. They just needed to flip a it bit. It might be a good time to because you know nobody's picked up on this quite yet. So they're still going for about thirty nine dollars on eBay, which is honestly about ten dollars more than I want to pay for one. Like twenty bucks yeah. if I sold if I sold <laughs> one for like twenty dollars, they'd be like, yeah, I'll pick one up. But I, again, I mean, you got to make sure it has controller. authentic authentic Cheeto crust on it. From like yeah. the, the after payday, players. if they're reasonably priced on eBay, I'll I'll pick one up just to say. I mean, yeah, put it next to my. Steam yeah, controller, right? put it next yeah. to you know the alpaca, the Dual Shock Four, the Dual Sense, the Steam controller, the uh, Game Sir, the Cheapo one <laughs> that Ven suggested. And um, are you trying to compensate for, for lack of control in your life by having mm. all of these controllers? Yeah, man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to find a way to compensate for the lack of Mortal Kombat Two source code in our lives. Uh, we're oh, gonna yes. have to play Mortal Kombat three online via main. <laughs> you may remember we uh, talked about it last week or the week before. The source code for Mortal Kombat two had um, it, it was on GitHub, and now it isn't anymore because uh, the assholes at uh, Warner Brothers. Uh, you mean intellectual and, property rights owners? Yes, <laughs> assholes. Uh, sent a DMCA uh, request to GitHub, and of course, that uh, repo has now been taken down. But determined to not go down without at least taking one final swipe at Warner Brothers and NetherRealms, the original um, poster uploaded a new uh, repo called Not MK2, mm-hmm. which describes uh, the, it basically has the Wikipedia article uh, describing the uh, poor working conditions and just terrible, terrible work environment that took place at NetherRealm around the time that Mortal Kombat 11 came out. Yeah, so. that, isn't that like, <laughs> oh, so everything's cool and shit long as you got the source codes all I'm hearing, right? <laughs> oh, you got your little Fifi's hurt. Now, you're, now it's a problem? Oh, okay. All right. Now I see how that motherfucker thinks. That was a problem the entire time the source code was available, too. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yes, it was. And... uh Warner Brothers taking it down just you know brought that back up to the limelight. <laughs> it's out. Uh, it's never going to go away. I'm sure you can. Get yeah, there's plenty of copies plenty of them guns. floating oh, around. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I look forward to the reengineer of this human fighting. <laughs> Mm. Uh, recklessly yeah. dangerous um, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Oh, fuck all you. Um, immortal pacifism. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> What, 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 one life slap fight. <laughs> one life slap fight is now my new punk band. I'm sorry. I'm going to, that's, that's actually too good a name. You know, and you know, well-documented assembly. And so, so I mean, speaking to that, man, I mean, you, you're not gonna have to worry about people burying malware and shit in it. You know, you're going to get some, <laughs> yes. What? Mortal Com- my Mortal Kombat 2 ro- ROM stole all my NFTs. No. <laughs> Crypto Damn jacket. You, <laughs> Damn you, Sub Zero. Fatality. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking Scorpion, get over here. It steals the monkey. <laughs> Don't steal the monkey. <laughs> Ah, uh, Atari, Atari, Atari. Um. Uh, yeah, the, the 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 bloated animated corpse of Atari is back. Where where are they this time? They're out. They're done with the VCS, and they uh, have announced a new handheld. The the Atari Pocket Player, which is not a redesign. That's not of the a Atari handheld. Links. It's got like two handheld wiener. No, 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 no. That that oh. has the name of the fuck the product name of the fucking year. It's called the Atari Game Station Plus, which Ooh. is a fucking fake ass <laughs> product name. If I've ever heard one, like it's it's no it's no Okama Game Sphere, but, but it's it, it's close. It says video computer system on it vc yeah we you get the little the little arcade box you also have like all right here's the problem box. with all of this people are gonna buy this motherfucker though the atari arcade pocket player pocket. why because it's like what 40 bucks or some shit like that M- maybe but you you can you can play atari <laughs> games on your your cell phone telephone and by that kids i mean it's a 3d render yeah yes they're all 3d yeah. renders well <laughs> i i mean i mean are, are you expecting real real products 
from Atari at this point. Like, yeah, <laughs> you know, they you killed say off. That. You <laughs> say that, but this is the type of cheap, inic- re- reasonably like this is the this is the top or upper echelon of their cheap, not crappy Atari. Because you think about it. Think about it. You stop. You'd see a, a disc, and it'd be like, "Oh, a thousand Atari games for Windows ninety five back then." Or you would see the joystick was like fifty Atari yeah, games it, in it. You, you, you plug it into the TV, and yeah, right. And this this is along those lines. You have a bit more higher rent than that, but uh, this this is like in their sphere. This is not like Atari VCS is like what the hell are you guys thinking? You, you got people. You don't you don't you don't have the everything required to make this a success. <laughs> This, this they can pull off. They know how to do cheap. Yeah, but uh, sure. killing off the VCS, which was the actual interesting one, at least on the Tinker Don't side. Killing for... off the VCS, like the okay, where, where did show me where you checked it for a pulse? Yeah, the, well, yes, it, they it, stopped listen, producing it, them. It, 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 it was a premium. If we're, if we're if we're extending the birth metaphor, this was like a premature Dude, birth. The that VCS was, kept on was a very fascinating curiosity right up until the second they announced the Steam Deck. Then. No yeah. one gave a shit about it. Steam Deck yeah, ate its but lunch. it still made uh, the board inside would have still made. Uh, oh yeah, not oh, yeah, no, alone no. in thinking that uh, that but, particular board with the embedded Ryzen made a lot of but, sense but, if you but wanted now, to now, tinker now with you, it. <laughs> now, if you're going to pay full price, it's not worth it. Now that thing is worth like a yeah. hundred bucks, and like yeah. the ac- the actual tech. <laughs> yeah, I mean it draws so, more power. It's slower. It doesn't have a built-in screen or controllers or come with Steam preloaded. And... No, no, you can you can play Centipede. No. Oh, dude, dude! Even better, you can pay a hundred dollars for an anniversary uh, cartridge of, of centipede. Oh yeah. yeah, the the gold ones. Yeah, no, uh, the uh, no. Uh, I'm just looking at the uh, Game Station Plus and thinking, yeah, no. Is does that run Android? Because if that runs Android, then I need to remind Atari or um, what are they nowadays? IESA, previously Infogrames. Um, that renamed themselves onto Atari SA uh, and are now doing this chat. I, 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 <laughs> I, I still say they got to ship the games with on a floppy and two DVDs. That's that's the only way for historical accuracy of sake. That's the thing. <laughs> Most of those really cheap knockoff uh, Android consoles that you buy on Amazon or wherever, they come with all of the Atari games preloaded already. Most of them anyway. So... Can you buy a, a, a can you buy a unit of storage small enough that you can't fit all the Atari games on them at this point in time? Um, Probably one of the quarter. Uh, wait, are we talking quarter. like SRAM or some shit like that? Because like, yes, <laughs> five like, and a go, quarter go, floppies. Go, I, again, like like Thumb go drive. go to go, 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 go to go to a Radio Shack. Like go go to, go to go to like a Best Buy or something. See if you can find something that's like that that doesn't have enough onboard storage. Okay, store hang on. We we just got to tap the brakes. Okay, we need our guesses. Shot realm participate. You, it's going to be obvious if you cheat. Uh, what's the combined size of every Atari, known Atari ROM? I'm going to say less than less than 50 megabytes. Yeah, it's it's probably Atari 2600 ROM. 20, 2600. Okay, probably I'm going to say 20. Yeah, 25. 25 <laughs> megs. I'm. Yeah. I, I want to say like. How much space? Is, oh, um, hmm. All right. Looks like somebody's on this. How much space would it be needed for a comprehensive retro uh, Atari illustration game boy? Three megabytes. Two point three megabytes. Or fifty-two. For the fifty-two hundred. <laughs> okay. Okay. So hang so, on. So, hang on. Uh, now we got to right. find out. Can we buy a three meg flash drive in twenty twenty three? Maybe an eight. Megabyte. <laughs> okay, two megabytes because it's got to be smaller. It's got to be too small to fit everything. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Too small. Yeah, that, too small that, to that, fit. That, that, that was that was my request. Yeah, two megabyte flash may, drive. May, may, maybe two and a half. <laughs> oh, so you good. need three floppy, uh, three and a half inch floppies. <laughs> two megabyte flash drive. <gasps> <laughs> Do they Wait. do they exist? No. Is it, is it AliExpress? Is it Wish.com? Is it? <laughs> yeah, see, these two are two gigabyte gigs. minimum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wholesale that, two that, megabyte. <gasps> Instant memory. Uh, oh, right out. Uh, uh, <laughs> Four uh, uh, yeah, Ali, 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 Alibaba, AliExpress. I need. You know what? I don't think you can buy a two megabyte 
No, I, 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 I just I don't think they make them that small. I, I just don't. Let me see. Does this count? Factory made. No, nope, that's still four gigs. Three, <laughs> 30 megabytes. The, the, this is the. This is going to be longer than the actual news segment. Yeah, what a, yeah, what hey, have I done? Listen, what rabbit we, hole? Two hundred and fifty-six <laughs> megabytes. That doesn't yeah. that sound just so cavernous. Yeah. Too yeah. I don't think it exists, man. Uh, I, I, yeah, like 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 I said, I I don't think you can you can purchase storage that cannot contain many thousand copies of of the entire Atari 2600 library. You can library still buy today. three and a half inch uh, floppy disks. They're not can cheap. You plug the, can you plug them into <laughs> your phone? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, okay. Then again, I can't plug in one of those flash drives onto my phone either. <laughs> sure you can. You just need some effort, some elbow grease. <laughs> I believe I believe in you, Pedro. I I, I I do not doubt that you can plug that USB See, stick. I don't into think your I've phone. seen anything that's small either. Smallest I flash drive I've ever had was uh, 128 megs. So. I do I I do like the assorted pile of flash drives there. Just like yeah, pick yeah. one. Just oh. fucking pick one. <laughs> you just, get one of them. <laughs> three, you get three, three, to eleven. <laughs> yeah, just, just 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 pick a color. Just circle circle the one on the photo that you want. Send me a picture and I'll send it to you. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, uh so, so yeah uh, so go 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 buy your atari <laughs> retrocade game station right now uh speak speaking of uh blocky graphics let's, Dude, ta- let's talk about let's talk about uh one of i think one of like the coolest games that have come out of the open source community. man like yeah weirdly strangely enough yeah you, you know you know, you think voxels and you don't think pretty but then like these guys put a shit ton of work into all of it velorin not 0.14 is out it's got a bunch of new cool stuff you can trade with your pets they got new redwoods they got new deadwoods they got yeah they got a new redwood model and loo, loo, new logs and stumps yeah you can you can get some be- better uh death stranding compatibility there's more bridges and they actually have some reflection settings and some fsr type stuff for um uh, render, rendering it a higher resolution and downscaling, or rendering at a lower resolution and upscaling. So that's all neat. Um, not not a super huge release this time around. There are some uh, there are some gameplay fixes and tweaks as well. But it's it's fucking Breath of the Minecraft, man. Look at this shit. It's yeah. <laughs> it's got and, attack uh, sheep, man. That you have to set on fire <laughs> because yeah. sheep sheep are nasty, man. It it is. It has been improving non-stop and uh, yeah with the new graphical options and like the new shader that introduced for uh water reflections and whatnot it looks looks really nice man compared to the minecraft cow holy shit that's like that's like an actual cow (laughs) this thing um you know i poured one out for our our friend pedro as i I loaded it up it's got a launcher it's called airshipper and immediately i just flew back on the mouse wheel for pedro and like zoomed Mm -hmm. all the way out of the world i'm like oh that's so pretty very yeah. performant. That initial startup takes a minute, like genuinely a full minute on the uh, Threadripper. But yeah, I, I've not created an account, probably out of self preservation. <laughs> you know, this is GPL 3. It is pretty, it is performant, and you can light sheeps on fire. Pixelated yeah. sheeps. As open source games go, this one is shaping up to look very, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when, 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 whenever like whenever people talk about open source games, we get a lot of like uh, we get we get a lot zero of like, free Orion, yeah, zero, zero AD. Um, but like, yeah, th- this is really really pushing what open source this graphics is, can do. Yeah, it like, looks yeah. good <laughs> and it plays well, and uh, it's also Java. <laughs> hey, <laughs> couldn't be perfect. two out of three. Right? <laughs> hey, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Coming up next, we're going to program in Java for you live on stream. Have fun with that. It's the Chairquisition. We're back to the Chairquisition this week. Uh, this week, we are following the Chairquisition as we do every week. Uh, we take a game, run it on three different Linux distributions on three different sets of hardware, and then give it a highly robotic and uh, precise computational uh, score based on lawn chairs. One chair means that it's awful. Four chairs means that it's Fucking great. Uh, this week, we're taking a look at Bots Are Stupid, de- developed by Leander Edel or Edler Gola. Goya? I don't know. Bless you. Uh, yeah. Uh, done on .NET Core 2 slash monogame. You can pick it up for about $12.99 US. What is it? An ultra precise 2D platformer where you give robots instructions instead of directly controlling them. Master the campaign levels or create and share their homes. We got to thank Arthurian, our Patreon and executive producer, who bought us this game because he knew that... <laughs> 
something would happen. I mean, to You're- very, very lightly paraphrase it, it was like, this looks like a pain in the ass. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, you know look, I'm, I'm not going to spoil the experience for the people. Uh, but, you know, let, let's let's get into it. How's, how's this game run on Debian? Ah, oh, man. Um, Debian Bookworm. It doesn't launch out of the box. Stay tuned for more of that from everybody. Uh, you know, this is something that's been a problem since before the holidays. And we just kind of sat back, relaxed, waited. Like, maybe it's going to get fixed. Community's like, Psst, by the way, here's an easy way to fix that. Still hasn't been addressed. Granted, you know, it is an easy fix. And, uh, you know, in all fairness, it does list the system requirement as Ubuntu 16.04. But it does have that plus on it. Oh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, no controller support out of the box, but you could get away using this with a touchscreen. I don't have a touchscreen, which is probably for the best. And uh, keeps and gr- keeps and a gerbil, no problem. That's how you're gonna play it anyway. You know, twenty go to bullshit is kind of the game with this. But I had to look at this through the right lens, everyone, because I immediately think to myself, you know, how Kerbal Space Program is uh, for the kids that are too clever for Minecraft, right? Those are the ones that you give the Kerbal Space program too and you know so this is as following in the trail of bad analogies this is like super meat boy for the smart kids this is a good way to think about it man and i grew up with stuff like this i grew up with logo i grew up with a little green turtle bouncing around on a screen on an old apple 2e so this kind of hits me in those nostalgia feels just a little bit kind of does i'm like oh man i really wish we had something like this back in the day uh you know for those five-year-olds, uh, belligerent little children that we were. But yeah, I just threw your game into the edutainment category. Software developer, game designers, deal with it. Aha. Does it teach programming, though? Nope, doesn't. But you know what? Neither did Logo. It didn't. Uh, it does give you a syntax to control your little robot and, you know, several A to B challenges and a bunch of wiggly stuff in between. It's a good way to introduce the concept of debugging to someone like in primary school, uh, or just somebody just who still runs Windows 7 in general, might still have a struggle with it a bit. It does teach you about optimization. And I'm down with the puzzles. And I like anything that it's going to teach basic problem solving, but there is zero chance of our crowd playing this for fun. This, this, is, this just smells too much like work. It has too many mm-hmm. whiffs of like, uh, I don't know. And at 12 99 I gotta say this, man. It's priced to sell. It includes a level builder along with online letterboards. I want to give it like 1.5 cheers. Just like there's some potential here, but you know, part of that potential is making sure it launches on something, and it doesn't out of the box. So I would say one chair. There, there's room. There's definitely a two in here. You got some edutainment software. I liked it more than these two, but I don't have to deal with it day in and day out anymore. Jordan, how about you, babe? Yeah, uh, here, 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 here's here's the thing. Um, so we used to be a lot more forgiving about uh, about like games not running out of the box. You know, Lin- Linux was sort of this niche operating system. There wasn't a lot of support. You know, and if you could get it up and running reasonably easily, then it wasn't as bad. But you know, in the era of current year, twenty twenty three, I think yeah, twenty twenty three, mm-hmm. not twenty twenty four. I didn't black out and lose a year. We're good. <laughs> Seems um, legit. It's, it's it's very possible. I have no fucking idea anymore. But yeah, in 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 twenty twenty three, uh, the Steam Deck exists. There's a lot of competition. There are a lot of puzzle games out there. There are a lot of games in general. Um, that uh, there are a lot of games in general that um just run out of the box. And if you cannot accomplish that now, then you're gonna get panned. Uh, because the, the standards have moved on. Um. We, we can't be as generous anymore because now there's just so much game out there. And Valve uh, so isn't yeah. being generous either. No, they're, they're not. Um, they're, they're just like listing games as uh, not, not functional. So that, that, uh, that, that, that aside, uh, Pedro will get into how to actually get this to run, but it does not run out of the box on Fedora 3564 bit with the R9 30, or 3764 bit with the R9 3700. X and the 3900X. God damn it, I can't do numbers anymore. <laughs> and the GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, yeah, so once your magical .NET environment variable gets set, though, it runs. There's no graphical options other than drag your own windowed mode resolution. There is a soundtrack. Pedro, that's going to error out 14. It's I hate this game now. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> just, I, I fucking hate life. The game. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, graphical options, blah, blah, blah soundtrack, uh, my land offensive, not really what I listen to when I program. Usually there's a lot more blast beats and screaming. Um, the controls are ba- Mavis Bacon teaches controls. 
Fun was, yeah, this is this is baby's first task, tool assisted speed run. And you know, the thing about tasks is they're really fun to watch. The brain age one is one of my favorites because you can literally like, what's two plus two? Here's a picture of a duck. Correct. <laughs> that kind of shit is like amazing to me. Um, but the thing about tasks is, is that they're great to watch, but the actual creation of them is pretty niche. You gotta be someone who's like really in to digging into the guts of the program, really getting to know how things work and really understanding the timing. Um actually doing so the the people who actually do these tasks they have a pretty niche community they're they're i won't I don't, i'm not going to call them insular but they are where they are and it, there's a reason that it hasn't expanded as much because you know the desire to do this kind of stuff is limited and the ability to do this stuff is kind of limited um the gameplay itself here is pretty much trial and error i'm sure after long stretches of time you can see through the matrix and you'll be able to like understand the timings and all that crap but at least at the start, it's very much debugging 101. And as someone who has to debug software, you start asking for things like, that modern debuggers have, like the ability to step through and set breakpoints. But then you realize if you do that, then the challenge of this game evaporates because really what it's doing is figure something out, wait until it finishes and see if you did it right. This is where the actual length of the gameplay comes from. And uh, again, it just causes, and that that's that's the rub. As someone who has to deal with this kind of crap for a living, this isn't my definition of fun. This is this is me fighting with Amazon Open Search because I need to find the magical combination of instances that exist in the CA Central region uh, that are available in every other region, but not Canada. Because fuck you. Uh, again, completely aside. Um, this, these, these are the kind of emotions that it brings up. And, you know, like Ben says, if um, if you're a young child, if you're someone who doesn't program, this might hit for you. This might this might be like, oh, I get this. This is exactly how I like to engage with my computer programs. But for me, I, I can't do that. And combined with the technical issues, I really got to give it one share. No, 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 no good. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of that. So, um, as uh, Fed and Jordan both alluded to, this game does not launch out of the box on either my desktop or the Steam Deck. And uh, yeah, that hasn't happened in a while. Um, if you add a, an environment variable .NET underscore system underscore globalization underscore invariant equals one, it disables the uh global invariation uh, that's what uh dot uh, .net core 2.0 calls the fact that the game runs in a self-contained fashion without actually expecting you to have a .net environment set there's a there'll be a link in the um in this portion of the notes if you want to look exactly at what that does but yeah th i guess this isn't exactly the type of game that people would be playing on the Steam Deck given the lack of a physical keyboard. Eh, yeah, touch screen, but you really want a keyboard for this one. It is still pretty naughty to uh, have a native Linux game that does not run properly on SteamOS, though Valve shares some of the blame on that because they still haven't released the ISO for SteamOS 3. Uh, but after uh, all that, um, I mean, it, it, it's a Fairly bare bones um, programming game, you know. Uh, you um, there's an option. Uh, there, there's actually one of the levels that the game says that the internal clock uh, is uh, set to 200 FPS, but the game itself is not locked to 200 FPS. So you get anywhere from 400 to a thousand FPS uh, without an option to lock it without using, say, Game Scope or Mango HUD. The visuals are okay, and the soundtrack wasn't terrible. It got real repetitive real quickly, but yeah, as for the fun, no, it wasn't fun. I hate programming and I'm not going to bother learning your game's programming syntax and flags because I never intend to start it back up again. Uh, it, <laughs> you can absolutely, uh, you know, the primary game gameplay loop is to code or script and watch to see what happens and rinse repeat until you have something that works. Uh, I, you can absolutely go back and optimize for uh, either time to complete the level or the script length, but I don't want to do it at all. There's nothing wrong with the actual game other than it doesn't start. Unless you put in some launch codes, which I guess is, you know, apt enough. Uh, but I, I, I hate the subject matter and the trial and error gameplay based on my hatred of programming and just brute forcing my way uh, to the next level is probably not helping. So for me, it gets one chair. Oh. 
Yeah. Um, did, did any of you ever, like, at, at any point get a chance to feel like you were starting to see through the Matrix? Or did it always no. just keep keep being, like, a trial? I, I could... No, I kept looking at this as, a, like, an educational thing for, like, elementary school. Like, I, I only saw this through as having to put that damn disc in that Apple II when I was, like, five years old. <laughs> that turbo, little triangle coming up and moving that. And I was like, this is so much cooler than that was. Um... The physics are a lot more accurate, too. <laughs> well, I mean, there is a game there, and that's what I'm saying. It's uh, That's why I want to call it, like, edutainment. It, it's a hard sell as just a strict entertainment title, because the type of people who would be good-ish at this are not necessarily the type of people that wants to play this, unless, like, you're broken as a human being. Yeah, unless for whatever reason this hits. And like, yeah, I, I don't uh, think if, if you're if a programming, programming thing, or scripting is like, your gem. As a voyeuristic <laughs> thing, like I've not had a horrible time sitting here judging Pedro as he's working, his, <laughs> stepping his way through this. I'm like, hmm, I don't know if I'm going to go that way. Hmm, backseating. Yeah, but I, I think that goes back to what I was saying earlier about like, it's fun to watch. It's not fun to do. Right. <laughs> It, it could make for some interesting challenges, so yeah, you know, can you like like a three way of like who can complete, and it's got its own level editor built into it, and it's got online mm-hmm. letterboards, so mm-hmm. not 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 lazy, but like this this it re- really it's just a reflection of like yeah we we don't find the game particularly yeah fun. it's, it's not, not a bad game it's just yeah we don't enjoy it and you made the uh, fairly egregious mistake of the game not launching whatever Linux nerd give me your money yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Coming up next, give us your money or I'll <laughs> steal your lunch. I don't know. <laughs> your money lunch. Mail. <laughs> give me that your money mo- lunch. Your, your, listen, you, you got to eat those that entire roll of nickels for lunch. Are you a mind flayer? Because if you are, well, No, then... baby, I'm a new product from Blamco called Mind Hair. <laughs> Remove all the hair out of your brain. You shove this up your nose. It's good. L- l- listen, if, 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 you ma- if you make more than $750,000 a year, Wizards wants your Mind Flayer bucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, they might have uh, Do you think you could have like a tiny tax a evasion bit? brain? A <laughs> <laughs> little, 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 little tax brain? I mean, I mean that, that, that's been my strategy my entire life. So, <laughs> little, little tiny tax brain. Can't, can't, well, can't be booked uh, for tax evasion if I don't know what the rules are. <laughs> even if you can't read minds, you can absolutely share with us a piece of yours. Uh, we don't have a P.O. box, so you'll have to use the contact form on linuxgamecast.com. Uh, I don't know how you're going to send uh, an actual piece of your brain. Uh, you can, you can send us an <laughs> NFT of your brain. Uh, you, you absolutely can. Good luck with that. Uh, <laughs> make sure to pick LGC Weekly as the show that you want to send your hate mail to, and we will feature your message right here right now all right and um apparently we did uh something right because oh, okay uh, <laughs> yeah you see you see what happened is pedro as pedro does is he's had, he's had to go talk some mad shit some mad <laughs> yeah, shit <laughs> spit fire all over a guy's project man uncalled for for no reason unprovoked <laughs> I, I I was very deliberate in my comments that okay, if you're in a constrained scenario, why the hell so, are you using so, 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 man? Let, 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 let's let's talk about let's talk about Don, Don Kula, Don Luca, not so uh so Don Don Luca says, Hey, Don Luca here, not Don Kula. Looks like you found my pet project <laughs> running Debian on PS Classic colon bracket. Conky is a necessary evil because there's no swap space in limited SO, especially for the RAM limit, because you must always have an eye open on RAM usage on Conky to make sure you don't go over the limit or you'll have to reboot because some apps will close stuff will end up being messed up etc as for lxqt i wanted to give a newbie friendly environment for people testing this out having complete desktop environment is great if i had to do this for power users i just use alpine Linux with wayland and weston so we kind of have gpu hardware acceleration as well yeah what i said was use lxde instead or open box but yeah open box we get into Wayland and western territory for the very minimal approach but yeah lxd is a lot m- more memory uh what's the word i'm looking for here intensive uh, no uh the, hungry the other one sexy <laughs> the other the other way floppy um less memory intensive undulating less memory yeah. intensive, i like sure. that word let's use undulating <laughs> <laughs> D- dynamic undulating memory 
But yeah, uh, you dumps? remove the QT yeah. bits so, uh, from you, the LX. I, 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 no, I, I, I use you have dumps. Dumps. Oh, right. I got <laughs> double dumb ring. <laughs> <laughs> that's what DDR is, dumb dumb rim. Efficient, that's the word I was looking for. Is a lot more memory efficient. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, it looks like looks like someone has some dumb dumb RAM. Anjali. <laughs> yes. But yeah, no, uh the the whole not it's having just some swap. kinky ass darlock. It's like Anjali. 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 Uh, limited space. Yeah, that that does make a point for conky, but uh even then you should probably minimize that conky config to just show the RAM instead of Pedro's everything. Still gonna tell you you're doing it wrong, bro. There's <laughs> no <laughs> point. I, I mean I mean you you could get a little you could get a little extra judicious with the out of memory killer if you if you wanted to go that route as well. Do it call doing Alpine Linux, I get why that would be your you would you would think about doing that because you know small small file size and everything. But mm-hmm. yeah, I you know, you're you're talking about compatibility issues. Going with a Moozle based distribution is just going to introduce nothing but more. Uh, I don't I don't know though. It, it's it's whatever it's whatever's on the PS Classic. So and I I mean this all like boils down to like uh, you know when we were first talking about this, he's like I just did this because I was bored and I wanted to see if I could. Yep. It's not even supported anymore. Yeah. <laughs> So, I'm still so, going to uh, pick at the nits if I see them. Because like even on the GitHub page, he's like, "I'm not fucking fixing any of this." By the way, yeah, <laughs> it is listen, as it is. Listen, this listen, is for listen. historical purposes only. Be be glad that Sony let you install Linux on one of their consoles still, <laughs> and hasn't retracted it. <laughs> <laughs> like they did with the PS3. <laughs> yeah, but they they learned. They learned. They went oopsie doodle. I, I think it was what did extra credit say, Pedro? Do not tango with the kind of people who would install Linux on their PS3s. You, you will, will lose. lose. <laughs> <laughs> True words have never been spoken. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wind us down for this evening. If you want to get in touch with me, just head over to Vinstone at Twitter. I'm doing that thing. If you like the Federated Timeline stuff, we got one of those, mass.linuxgamecast.com. I'm just at Vin there. I'm always in our Discord, which means that I'm in our IRC, which means that I'm in our Twitch chat. All that's linked together. It's brilliant. Come hang out with me and the rest of my filthy casuals on Tuesdays and Fridays for some retro racing action with Trek Media Squared. We'd love to have you in there as well. Any other thoughts, hints, allegations, send them my way. Up next, we got this. If you camera. if you have a superior dodgy brain, you can follow me on Twitter <laughs> at the Burning Fool, on Mastodon at Frojo at mass.linuxgamecast.com or twitch.tv slash burning fool. Yeah, apparently my brain at some point tonight dodged way too far onto my skull and now it don't work no more. Uh if you'd like did, to did you tell use me power attack? Yeah. <laughs> It was uncanny dodged right into you know the back of my skull. Oh no, it sounds like um, it was can dodge. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, you know, more evidence of brain damage at an account at four, or um, you can scroll back up in the <laughs> or look through the um, thing in the full whatever to find my Discord username. You'll figure it out. If you're smart, right? Just say I'm Pedro. Not. You don't have to ever reply him in our Discord, man. Just, just checks, Pedro. You know, it's like, it's control you, you, F. He, Google, he just Google searches the word Pedro. He does. Hey, let's Google search uh, I get a lot credits. of Pedro Pascal. Yeah, <laughs> the best Pedro. Listen, <laughs> this, that's just how you go through life. You, you just push the buttons. <sighs> It's time for the credits. I want a big red button that says push lightly and it blinks. All right. <laughs> well, when, added to the wish list, we got to thank our advisors, Omegas and Arthur, and we got to thank our executive producers. Oh, Slow, shit. Scrolling we slowly, got new Bob people. Rimes, Scott Michaud, Tom Cass, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kawaku, George Pibble, Tomas Unoid, Hakim, and Yorge, our Chicago kicks ass tier, which is just super death stoat right now. And we got Whoop. Sea Monsters. Renault, Renault, Ryder X, Mike, and Reggie, Ryder Nuda, Justin, Frostclaw, Nobody, Joe, David, Darkwing, System Team, Vincent, Drill, Ogie Wad. Hey, look, we got some Death Notes, too, man. These are the people. No, okay, uh, Basil, like Chris, Chad, Romeo, Darson, Renee, Leonardo, DeCrisney, Bacon, Kim, Smashly G, Chris, Steven Alex, Jones, Benjamin, Doom 2, that wad. I said D. Alex twice. <laughs> too <laughs> many Alexes. Dirty Dean, back. Game of Tron, Dodgers, Anthrace Gaming, Rue, Turnover, Cheesy Bacon, Foxy, Svine, Oil of Hope, Jalou, and Alex. And yes, I'm going to keep saying Jalou. (laughs) Jalou. Alex. (laughs) Sick Greg. Oh, hi, Johnny. How's your sex life? And Belric. And Jonas Rula. 
plenty. We got, of we got, we got our fuckers. <laughs> yeah. Carl, Mike, Artharon, Linux, Nuru, Aldeus, Noctilus, John, Ishep, Gameotron, you know it. You know it. That's right. Loop, Loop it, baby. Play it Whoop. again. <laughs> Play it again. <laughs> and again and again and again. Fuckity bye. Dead to fire, everyone. We'll see you next week. I think that's the biggest crime of the Capaldi run is before he regenerated, he didn't say fuckity bye. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is he like went, that they, is they, the, they addressed that like the first episode. Ooh, I'm Scottish. I can swear <laughs> now. You're not gonna <laughs> Five dudes. <laughs>